Okay, so let's look at 2023 20, paper one, the question on menstruation. It says, the diagram below shows a sector which is X or Y. Now, the angle subtended at the center of this sector is 70 degrees. So I say, uh, this diagram is showing a sector which is X or Y. Now, the angle which is subtended at the center of this sector is 70 degrees. And the radius of this sector has been given to be 18 centimeters. That is OX and D, OY. So this is 18 centimeters, and this is what? 18 centimeters. Okay. Then we are told to calculate the area of the same sector. Calculate the area of the sector X, O, Y. Taking pi as 22 over 7. Okay. So they want us to find the area of this sector. Taking pi as 22 over 7. Radius of the sector is 18 centimeters. And the angle subtended at the center is 70 degrees. So we know the formula first and foremost we need to write the formula for finding area of a sector. So you know area of a sector is given by theta over 360 degrees multiplied by pi r squared. Okay, so this is the formula we use. Area is equal to theta over 360 multiplied by pi times radius squared. Okay. So just a matter of us now substituting this formula. So the theta has been given. So this is our theta. Our theta is 70 degrees. And then the radius has also been given to be what? 18 centimeters. And the pi is 22 over 7. So just a matter of us substituting in the formula. So we can move on and say area is equal to what is our theta? 70. Okay, 70 degrees over. 360 degrees multiplied by pi has been given to be 22 over 7 multiplied by the radius is 18. So I'm going to say 18 squared since the radius in the formula has been squared. So you square this 18. Okay. So you move on and say now since you are not allowed to use calculators, the best thing you can do is you reduce these figures. So you can say this 0 and this 0 can go. So what are we remain with? We are remaining with the 7 as a numerator over 86 as a denominator multiplied by 22 over 7 then multiplied by now. 18 squared is the same as 18 by 18. Okay, 18 squared, meaning this 18 is the base, then this 2 is the power, so we multiply the base the number of the power. So this is 18 times 18. So we've just expanded this one. Okay. So you can move on and say area is equal to, so you can say this 7 into 7 is what is 1. Okay. 7 into 7, 1. 7 into 7, 1. Okay. Then you say uh, 1 times 22, you get 22 times, we have 18 times what? 18. Then over 1 times 36, so 36 times 1, you get 18, 36, okay? Then you say area is equal to, uh, we know 18 is a factor of 36, meaning 18 can go into 36 without leaving a remainder. So 18 into 18 is 1, 18 into 36, we get what? 2. So what are we mean with? We have 22 multiplied by 18, take note, over what? Over 2. Okay, then you say area is equal to, okay, now move on and say 2 can go into 18, 2 into 2 is 1, 2 into 18 is what? It's 9. So what are we remaining with? We have uh, 22, it's 22, multiplied by 9. So area is equal to 22 multiplied by 9, you get what? You get uh, 1, 198 centimeter squared. So this is our A. Okay, let me show you where this 198 has come from. So 22 multiplied by 9. So 9 times 2 get 18, so write 8, carry forward 1. Then 9 times 2 get 18, plus 1 get 19. So this is why I put this answer from. So our area is 198 centimeter squared.